we have a MacBook Pro A 1990 that's a no power first thing first uh, we want to disassemble the machine so always remember uh, before you start to repair you remember you um, so with the A1990s or with the 20, uh, 2018s and above, um, there are two approach you can take when you are working on these devices. Uh, because it has a T2 chip, uh, it means you can you can uh, um, communicate uh, with the machine in DFU mode. So depending on uh, depending on the description of the device or depending on uh, the information you have regarding the history of the device and how it is a low power that determines if uh, you want to first attempt to uh, put the machine in DFU mode or you want to take out the back over now the reason why we're not attempting to put the machine in DFU mode in this repair is because the A1990 has um, a common failure so the common failure is what uh, we most likely are hoping to check out first before we do anything now this it's a bit of a tricky one uh, because what happened was uh, uh, so yes the, the machine uh, indeed was exactly what we um, anticipated uh, the common failures with the A1990s but a uh, uh, funny thing was the first time uh, so the first time what we had to do was to check for a short because uh, we, 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 with the failure we expect to have a short on the PP bus slide now measuring for a short <laughs> we uh, there was no short on the PP bus slide so we said okay fine since if there is no short then it means uh, let's then uh, uh, connect our charger to see uh, what's 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 going to happen, so then we connected. Uh, so we had to connect the charger, and then we got a, a quick pause from the we we got a, a quick pause from the trackpad, and then that was it. <laughs> and and the the, the 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 pause was gone again. So we then again had to check. Uh, we then again had to check with. Uh, um, with our multimeter to understand what is going on because indeed we did uh, because we did uh, confirm that uh, there was a, a feedback at the trackpad so and then we're trying to decide what was happening I mean the first time we did uh, we confirmed there is no short and then we, we connected our charger and then we got a trackpad feedback but then the feedback just went dead again so we decided okay what's happening now so we had to uh, then uh, uh, connect the charger, uh, the, connect the the battery data cable. Perhaps it's it's uh, it might we, we might get any changes, but still that did not uh, give us anything. So what we eventually found, uh, what we eventually found was, yes, uh, the 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 shot was a split second in i mean the split second the shot was inactive and then uh, for some because i mean for some reason uh when we made our measurements the shot was not there and then for some reason the machine did attempt to start because i mean uh we connected the charger and then we got trackpad feedback but that was about it <laughs> so we decided to take out the logic board and then understand exactly what's going to because at this point um when we when we didn't get anything from the machine after several attempts in having to reconnect the charger reconnect uh, the the battery data cable we decided okay let's just take out the logic board and then, now we did not right away measure for short on the people so we decided to just let's take out the logic board and get an and and get a, an overview understanding of what's going on so um uh we uh we then basically uh so i mean we made several attempts to um, confirm exactly why um it tries to start but then uh and then all of a sudden stopped no trackpad feedback nothing so it's it's uh, not um 
uh, it's not common to, to for, for, for DA1990 to behave in that manner, especially in the type of um, in the type of failure that this machine has. Ideally, what what usually would happen is uh, because the type of failure it has, it's uh, a short on the PP bus rail. Now, the the PP bus rail basically it's a critical rail without which your machine would not start. I mean. If your PP bus is not present, um, um, and then PP bus underscore G3H, which is a short form to say underscore G3 hot, what that simply implies is this is the rail that has to be present at all times. Now it doesn't matter if you are, uh, it doesn't matter if you are uh, powering on the machine with a charger or the machine is being powered from a battery. PP bus has to be present at all times. So. Another thing, uh, another thing we then had to do was to just play around the voltages and see what's happening. And all of a sudden, even though the first time we didn't have voltage, which is why we were able to get a trackpad feedback, this time there's nothing. As you can see, we're just getting zero. And then it was like, okay, what's happening? It is a little bizarre because uh, the reason why that is is when you when you take out your 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 back over, uh, when when you're working on these devices, you need to establish. Um, you need to establish a, a, a starting point. Now, a starting point that we got on this device was trackpad had, uh, uh, feedback was present, which tells us the machine is in SO state. And then we checked for picture. There was no picture. And then the, the next thing we had to do was uh, say, okay, maybe uh, our charger is not giving enough, enough juice. So we decided to connect the, the battery cable to, to activate the battery. But still, that didn't do nothing. And then, and then we, we know basically uh, we had to try several options just to because just a moment ago the machine was trying to start. So when did when did, it did not start? Now what then happened was uh, I I got thrown off into believing that uh, my initial pre-assessment of the common failures of the A nineteen nineties. It's not what I am dealing with here. So which is why I didn't go back to measure for sure because I mean. The first time I did measure for a short, there was no short, and then I, I just concluded, okay, fine, this is not the common feeling that uh, 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 I'm expecting. To, uh, on, this is a, a different. Uh, uh, this is going to be a different, a different type of failure. But and and then, but then again, what just happened was, one moment I got tracked by click, the other moment nothing was happening. Then I decided, okay, what's happening? We try other all, all forms of. Uh, 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 we try different. Uh, uh method to, to get the machine to to start i mean in that initial uh, pre-assessment but but none so uh, to no success so we decided to take out the logic board okay so um with the a1990 the pretty much the screws that you require to um to disassemble the machines are very uh they, they are basically three main screws those are your P5, your T5, and your T4. Now, should you uh, also require to um, take out the display assembly, then you will need a, T, um, a T8 uh, or T6. Uh, I mean, uh, some T6s can actually function in place of a T8, uh, but then if your T6 is not you know, uh, doing the job you can, you can use a T8. But commonly, uh, you need a P5 for the back screws, and you need a uh, a T5, mainly uh, more, more, most of the screws inside the T5, and then very few of them are, are T4. So now that the logic board is out, we want to uh, dust uh, the board so as to get uh, a clear view of um, uh, what we are experiencing. So basically, from here, we, we want to assess the device, giving a visual inspection, and then we then had to go to the support of our C9081. Uh, just to so uh, obviously that is the the the, the component that the cap that usually fail on the a1990 so uh it's a cap on your um it, it, it's a cap on the um on, on the the nands uh, on the nand rail so now that we saw that the cap was definitely what it should look like that's when we decided okay fine I, 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 now so we now had to take another look and then we saw that okay this cap actually look funny so we decided okay if that's the case <laughs> let's take another, another measurement and see if um, uh, we have a short so we then have to switch our multimeter into uh, 
continuity mode and then check for a shot and what do you know we have a shot uh so yeah that's a shot and and then i said to myself what happened before so we decided to do what we do which is to just uh remove the cap from the circuitry and then uh check again and see if our shot is gone so uh, 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 um that cap failing in that region it's uh pretty much um delicate so taking out the cap from the from 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 the rail and then we make we had to measure again to see if we have a short and uh we no longer have a short i'm just 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 to confirm that again so if you look at our multimeter black probe on ground and then and then our red probe um so that's just confirming our, our multimeter and then yes we don't have a short so that tells us that we our problem was actually um the, the cap all along but then for some for uh, for a very brief moment the cap was fine and then in the other moment uh, uh obviously the cap was already dead but for for very uh, a brief moment the cap was so yeah that is your c uh, so that is a spot where you find uh where you find the cap so i'm just gonna uh, show you guys oh and another thing guys uh sorry uh, uh what we notice is uh so that is the cap uh so but what we have noticed it's uh that um the the the, the view it's it's not uh, the view is it's not so good especially when it comes to uh especially when it comes to the black screen so we decided to change the view to a white background so uh, that cap it's c9081 so that's a very common cap to fail on the a1990 now uh even though um even though it's it's uh, pretty much a straight uh, a, a straightforward repair there is a problem here now that cap uh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna uh try to explain something to you guys regarding that cap and where the cap is so um the the c90 so the c90 C9081, uh, just a minute, guys. Okay, I'm going to open up the schematic. I'm going to open up the schematic. So the C9081, uh, okay, I'm just going to quickly open up the schematic for you guys. One moment, guys, please. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, open up the schematic so I can better explain uh, I can better explain the C9081 Sorry, guys, it's taking. I'm just uh, trying to get to. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for the schematic. Uh, okay, it's uh, 010041. It is 010041. Oh, it's zero. Uh, zero one zero forty one uh, okay so c Sorry, C9081, sorry. <laughs> uh, C9081, okay. So here we are. Now, uh, okay. So C9081. Now, C9081, uh, it's, it's, uh, it sits at the the input of U1980. Now, 
uh, one of the reasons why uh, um, this can be uh, a nightmare of a repair is C1980 is a buck converter. Now, what that is supposed to do, it's basically it's supposed to take a high voltage and then uh, split it to a low voltage. So that uh, C1980 is a buck converter for the NAND chip, which is basically uh, the SS, uh, the SSD, the storage, uh, uh, the, the storage that is used on, um, on, on 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 the device. So what that what that is supposed to do is to take the the PP bus voltage and then convert it into 2.5 volt for the NAND. Now, usually what happens is sometimes uh, when that cap fails, when C1980 fails, not only will it, uh, uh, will, it will the capacitor be destroyed, also it will affect U1980 and then it will send out PP bus voltage to the NAND chip. Now, one of the way to, to, to adjust that is you have to completely uh, replace the affected NAND chip. That's, it's, 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 uh, it's not as a simple repair as just having to uh, uh, remove the NAND chip from the circuitry. Now, once the NAND chip is removed, you may and you may not uh, 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 replace it. And if you do choose to replace it, be careful. In, in you don't want to apply too much heat in that section because you also have your your NAND chip. Uh, you also have your NAND chip in the, what, uh, 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 around that section. So uh, in another video, we will have to talk more on um, how you can easily, uh, basically, uh, how you how you can replace your uh, uh, your NAND chip when they fail. And uh, so, uh, but uh, but in this case, uh, in a situation where that in this particular repair the NAND chips were not affected only the cap was affected so we what we had to do was to remove the cap from the circuitry and that fixed our problem so we just basically uh clean out the board already from dust uh, we, we we had to clean out the board from dust and uh, the next thing we want to do now is we just want to double check to, just to be sure uh, uh just to be sure that our cap it's uh just to be sure that uh, the cap is not um shorted uh then we put the board uh we just quickly put i had to fast forward the video to quickly put the board in the shell test the board because a uh, test the board to be sure that we have power uh yeah and now we just want to connect the charger and then see if we have our power and uh you see just now there we have a, a fan spin yeah we have a fan spin we have trackpad feedback which is a good thing um, and shortly we should so we should see an Apple logo shortly. That's a fan spin and that's an Apple logo. And uh, that comes <laughs> to uh, the end of our repair. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, obviously, we don't want to show <laughs> we don't want to show the client so it's, uh, details. Don't we don't want to repeat anything of the client. So um, now the machine is going to now move on to um, uh, the other guys for them to do basically. Uh, put the machine together uh, and then uh, we'll be uh, good to go. So basically the guys will put the machine together and then uh, we'll be good to go. Um, they will do all of the tests as required and then the client can uh, be uh, informed about the machine being ready to be collected. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. Bye.